The sixth annual Pima Easter Extravaganza is in the books as another successful town-sponsored event. The annual Easter egg hunt in Pima was moved to Friday this year to not coincide with the Pima Fire Department's Firefest Car Show fundraiser on Saturday. In addition to the candy field Easter eggs, toys, and grand prizes, those in attendance had the opportunity to enter an Easter egg coloring contest and have a meet and greet with the Easter Bunny himself. 7,000 eggs, three age groups, so much fun. I uh, didn't expect this many people because it wasn't advertised as well as it could have been. Looking forward to building it bigger and better. We're actually making plans for next year and we had a couple parents volunteer. Um, Vernon and I were talking about some stuff we would like to bring back that has been dismissed. Going to grow the prizes, try to grow them every year a little bit more. Um, if it wasn't for the community, we couldn't do this and it's great being in Pima. The change in day didn't matter much to Pima Town Manager Vernon Batty, who reveled at the opportunity to put on the community event for the children during the religious holiday. Uh, any excuse we have to get everybody together and remind them that they're part of a community. And of course, you know, we invite people from Thatcher and Safford to come down and have a good time as well. And anything we can do for the kids to remind them of what a special time of year this is. And I would say thank you so much for the community for coming out and showing up strong in force and, uh, and cleaning up all these eggs for us. It takes us a while to spread all these eggs. It takes them no time to get them picked up. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you, thank you. Noah Rascone was lucky in his first ever Easter egg hunt and was the grand prize winner for his field. The middle field grand prize bike went to Brindley Curtis of Fort Thomas and the final field grand prize bike went to David Benavidez of Safford. Reporting from Pima for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.